All right, is that time to do a video? Here's what we got going on here. This is the LV6548, I think. That's what it's called. It's made by a bunch of companies. Uh, this one happens to be the Orient Power. And it's got the same specs. It's literally the same, the same unit, right? And I've seen many uh, reviews. I put a, a kind of a review, uh, you know, a few weeks ago. And then now because of that, like all the other videos are being fed into my, my feed, right? So one thing that no one's done the, from all the videos that I've seen is nobody's been able to test out full PV input. Because this thing has a pretty powerful, get this, this is a six kilowatt charger. I mean, six kilowatt inverter, but somehow it can take in 8,000 watts of solar. What? 4,000 on each side. So it's got four inputs, so you can do two strings up to 250 uh, volts, right? Uh, 18 amps. So I'm like, what? C c does that actually work? Does, can you do that? So most of the reviewers have not, not been able to do that. And I get it. It's a lot of solar that you have to have in your roof and, you know, the thing and you rewire the thing. And so most of them have said like, well, you know, I'm sure it does it or whatever. They've tested all the other stuff, the output and then the thing. Or, so I'm like, well, there we go. There's something that I can do that, no, that these guys haven't done is test the PV. So the way I'm going to do it, <laughs> because I don't have solar here, and uh, I just hooked up five of these batteries in series. These are the very, very affordable uh, Honda Clarity ones, right? And they're 12S. They could put out a ton of power, but I'm not using them for the power right now. I'm just using them for the voltage because they're easy to connect. So I just link them in series and they get to about uh, two, 230 volts, right? So each one of these ones will put about 230 volts into the uh, inverter there. And so what I got going, I got this battery connected there because obviously, you know, if you throw 8,000 watts of, of solar in here, right? Uh, then that inverter needs to put it somewhere. So I have this battery connected in here and so it was gonna try to charge it. And I also have a load on the uh, inverter right now. I'm charging my Rivian outside. And so I wasn't able to, you know, load it up. I wanted to really load it up with like, you know, six kilowatt at the very least. But because this charger here and this charger right here, they, uh, I, I couldn't spoof the, the, uh, the, the ground bonding, right? Uh, nothing worked. I even have some special thing over there that, that is supposed to simulate the, the, neutral grounding right on this uh nema 1450s it doesn't work i i plugged it all in and then i tried it it doesn't work then it doesn't work on that one uh it works with the tesla one but i don't have the tesla one here i have it i have that one at home so i only have the rivian chargers right now and so i'm i wasn't able to so now it's just being loaded up with like a 1.5 no two kilowatt yeah so 2000 watts is going to the car right now and that energy is coming out of the batteries so if you see this there's um, about 26 amps, uh, 1.4 kilowatt that is going into the car from these batteries. So these batteries are being discharged at the moment. As soon as we hit the um, this thing and turn it on, I'm sure what is gonna happen is that the 8,000 watts that are gonna go in there, some of them are gonna go over there to the car and then the rest is gonna go to the battery here. So let's flip the switch i have a uh a circuit breaker here that is uh rated for dc power you know up to 600 uh volts and so i am going to turn it in but i'm going to put my gloves because this is high voltage so i mean really high voltage not on the not only in the ac side but on the dc side together these are like 500 volts right here right uh so let's put our gloves safety equipment and then uh, flip the switch here are my gloves so now we flip this switch. Okay. There's a beep. <laughs> the fans just kicked in. Sounds like a like a bus. Okay, so according to this, there's 600, I mean 60 amps going into the battery. So 3.2 kilowatt going into the battery and uh 13 that's it 13 amps per battery right so 13 times four yeah so 
60 amps. And then I'm afraid to get close to that unit. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Okay, 3.22 kilowatt. Okay, so PV2, it's got 3.03 3 kilowatt input coming in. PV2, it's 13.7 amps. PV2, yeah, 212 volts. PV1 is 1.68 kilowatts. Okay, so that one's limited for some, some reason. 7.4 amps at 226 volts. Okay, so for some reason, we're not getting the full 8,000 watts in. And it might just be, why? Because we need a bigger load? Sorry, sorry about the beeping. Yeah, so there we go. Like the batteries can do it, but for some reason the unit is not. It's not inputting eight kilowatts. Uh, it's sending three to the batteries, and then it's sending one and a half to the car. So that's like what, four and a half kilowatt? Yeah, so that's four and a half. Yeah, four, maybe five, 3.2, yeah. Just under five kilowatt. Why is that? Maybe I need to put a bigger load in there. Okay, so I just disconnected the car. What's happening over here? Yeah, see? This doesn't go up higher, even though there's plenty of solar trying to come in here. I think we're maxing out the charging. So it's it's just basically, that's what's throttling this. So if I want to see 8,000 watts, I need to put more loads in there. But I think those wires that I put in there, they're too small to handle more than 14 amps, you know. All right, so now we connected the inverter to the building here. Now I'm pulling 4.7, 4 point almost 4.8 kilowatts right so but only two kilowatts are coming from the batteries uh, what's going on here with the solar let's look at the solar ones okay PV1 225 volts 17 amps that one's loaded so 3.88 of the 4,000 watts. PV2, 213 volts. Oh, that one's sagging. That one must be like low. 17 amps, 3.57. So we're very close to the 8,000 watts. Output, 2.43 kilowatts. Output is 75%. Output is 4.89, 4.851. 3.57. Eight, so that's as close as we're gonna get to 8,000 watts. Maybe if I load this inverter like a hundred percent and then I can put a hundred percent of solar in there but we're very close we're like seven and a half kilowatt going into the inverter and solar let's see how it does let's let it run out maybe we we'll, can discharge these batteries and charge all the other batteries and these ones are below 50 percent so we can send a bunch of that power in here yeah 11 amps each one 11 amps charging one hour later. All right, let's turn this off. I think these batteries are gonna be dead pretty soon. This is not a very large battery. It's only 25 amp hours and it's at less than nominal. So yeah, maybe we got like 10 amp, 10 amp hours in there or something. And you know, at 18 amps, yeah, it's probably, we got like half hour worth of the runtime on those. So let's disconnect them. Well, I'm impressed. This thing is uh, does what it says on the label. It can take 8,000 watts and it could spit it out 6,000 on the AC side and then it can spit out 60 amps into a battery. You could be doing that all at the same time, which is pretty crazy for a unit that is this small, this light, and this affordable. This thing's like just over $1,000, but not much. I think you can get it for like 18 no like uh 1100 or something 1150 or something pretty pretty really affordable for the amount of uh work that this thing could do uh also 
uh, the features are are pretty rich, right? Like you can you can tie like six of these, I think, in parallel, and then you can tie another six and and do it in split phase, and then or you can do another six and you can do uh, like three phase. This thing could do it all pretty much, you know. Uh, and so this is pretty cool. LV sixty five. 48. Now I understand why everybody was raving about it. Everybody's doing uh, reviews on this thing and yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I will mount this on the wall here. I got some wood and I'm eventually getting up to it. So uh, thank you for watching these videos. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, and before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe. It does help the channel. So, all right. Thank you. I'll see you. Bye. Thank you.